Welcome back to the Manitoba Liquor Mart's Ed Center at Madison Square. My name is Ace Burpee. The show is Great Taste of Manitoba. Adriana Barros from Manitoba Beef Producers with us. And this one says it all. Hearty meatball soup. Exactly, and this soup eats like a meal. It's quick and easy to make, and it's also quite satisfying. So let's get started with our meatballs. Okay. So in this bowl over here, I have some extra lean ground beef. I have freshly washed hands. Perfect. So if you want me in there, I will gladly get in there. I'll be so happy if you can mix this up okay. for me. So the extra lean ground beef has all the same 14 essential nutrients and protein and iron as regular ground beef does as well. To that mix, I'm also adding an Italian mild pork sausage. Nice. And that's going to just add some added spice flavors right. as well as some richness. So you can go ahead and start breaking that up and I'll just start adding the rest of our ingredients. Okay. So I have some white onion here. Great. Some flavorful garlic that I've minced up. Yep. We have some breadcrumbs that's going to act as a binder. Sure. Sticks it all together. We have some Italian seasoning and some salt. Oh, Great. sorry. No, that's all right. And then we're going to go and add a slightly beaten egg. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So if you can go and give that oh, a good, good mix. And it's important not to overwork the meat, just to incorporate Bruh. all of the ingredients. I didn't know that actually, because I was going crazy. No, that's you're doing so just perfectly chill out fine. No, you're doing perfectly fine. I just mean don't go and mix it for five minutes straight because it's gonna just become tougher. Okay. So once you're done that, you can go ahead and roll your meatballs. Um, the size of your meatballs is really entirely your preference. I like to keep them bite-sized for soups, yeah. um, which is what we're making today. So if you want, you can go ahead and make a couple meatballs. Like how much here? You can just make a, I would even go smaller. Smaller. But if you want, just because it's going to fit on your soup spoon. Oh, I see. But if you want to uh, make that large meatball and just break it up in your soup, that's also equally delicious. Okay. So Close. that's that's perfect. Where is that? You got yeah, that? That's good. That looks great, actually. So you can place that on the plate yeah. here. And um, these meatballs are going to go into the oven at 350 for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. They're not going to be fully cooked in the oven. They're just going to be slightly browned. And the reason I'm doing that is just basically for color. They're going to be fully cooked in our cooking broth for our soup. So when you want to, um, like, when I'm making things like this, using ground beef and things like mm -hmm. that, at what temperature do I do I want to eat ground beef? Ground beef must always be um, eaten at 71 Celsius or 160 Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. And then, because um, there's like, I know you're always supposed to cook ground beef to well done. To well done. I don't actually know why, I just no. The reason, the reason you have to cook um, ground beef to well done is because basically it's all cut up into thousands of tiny pieces. So essentially it's being exposed to the air, which is full of microscopic bacteria, right. unfortunately. Um, for example, when you consume a steak, the center of that steak isn't exposed to the air on the outside, so all we need to do is sear the outside of the steak. So eating a steak that's rare or medium rare is absolutely fine and you will not get sick from that. You nice. just want to kind of kill all the bacteria that's on the surface of that steak. Okay. Perfect. So you put some in the oven earlier. I did. If you could go grab those out yep. of the oven. I will wash my hands. Perfect. Quickly wash your hands. So over in this um, stock pot, I have two packs of no sodium added chicken broth and equal parts of water. So what I'm going to do while Ace goes and grabs my meatballs, I'm just going to add some of my sweet peppers. So I have two sweet peppers in total and I'm just using a variety of different colors just so it looks nice. Rick, so I'll just add meatballs! that <laughs> Perfect. So it sounds like the meatballs are on their way. They so, are. <laughs> So those are going to um, be cooked entirely in in the meatballs or in, sorry in the soup yep. pot. So if you want to just kind of dump those in, and I'll guide you in with sure. a spoon. So hopefully we don't splash too much. That's alright. Perfect. Oh, this so is going to be good. So all these bite-sized meatballs are going to be fully cooked in our soup. Yep. So those smell delicious already. They do. And that's also going to flavor the the beef or the chicken broth quite a bit as well. So mm -hmm. I'll give that a good Just mix. Just gonna give my hands another rinse. Perfect. So I'm also going to be adding some navy beans. You can also use white kidney beans or any of your favorite um, type of lentil or pulse. 
So this is going to add another meaty component to our um, our hearty meatball soup. The hardiness level is extremely high. It's really high. Listen, you don't know this, Adriana, but I know your mother. <laughs> and she says, well, no, because you seem really natural in the kitchen and you seem to really care about this. And then the, the recipes you bring to the table are often like sort of things like the pot roast you start off, right? And hearty meatball True. soup. It's like sort of old school stuff. When you yeah. were a little girl, like <laughs> when did you start cooking? Um, probably I think like nine or ten years old. And you would make like, cause like you would make. My like, mom probably told you I made lots of breakfast. Yeah, dishes. for the whole family. Yeah. And you'd be like putting on a little cooking show for I the would, whole family. Yeah. That's awesome. It was so fun for me. Yeah, it is good. It's good. It feels good. It's a fun thing to do. Yeah, it was so fun. I would um, make whole breakfast, entire brunch actually at That's times. That's very cool. <laughs> so I just added some salt and pepper into my chicken broth, and. Our final ingredient to the soup is going to be that spinach. So I'm adding four cups of spinach. There's tons of goodness in this There's soup. There's tons of tons iron, of protein. protein. Yeah. It's all in here. This is something that you can really feed your family during the week. It's quick and easy to make. I really crammed it in there. Yep, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this until the spinach is wilted and still bright green and then it's ready to eat. Nicely done. Adriana Barros, Manitoba Beef Producers. We'll see what this looks like and see what Al Bonus has been up to right after these.